Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle from Kyle Raps here, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to uh, play music in the background of your application. These are usually used for games and such things, and this is actually a request tutorial by this person, and I'll have their channel right there. And the actual previous, this is based on a previous tutorial I did, which was the how to play music in the background sorry, not in the background, but by selecting a button, and that tutorial is right uh, here. Now, let's say you have an MP4, I mean, sorry, an MPA file, that is a, this is just used for, like, exporting in GarageBand, that's the type of file you would get. So, I'll show you all three of the iPoke Pro uh, sounds, now this one in particular has never been used, and this was in the making of iPoke, so you guys actually get to see a sneak peek of what it was like and where my brain was at the time for making it. So let's play. Okay, so that's the uh, when I that actually never made it into the App Store. Now, when I made this, I was using this for I'd say about two months of the process of it, and eventually I just thought might as well make a new one, and that's where this one came into. Okay, so there's the second one, and this one has been used in iPoke ever since the first version, and that would be um, iPoke 1.0, 1.0.1, 1.1, 0. Uh, and 1.0.2. I mean, sorry, 1.1.2. And then, I just released a couple days ago, and I'm very excited to announce it to YouTube, but I actually released um, iPoke 2.0, and I'll have a link to the actual app itself right here in that uh, box there and if you go ahead and click there and download this update or install the actual thing uh, app to your phone it's only 99 cents it's not a bad deal for something that has a lot uh, better stuff than the light version now in this one I completely redesigned everything and I was as I was doing that I was about to hit submit but I realized I had the same tone. So I wanted to create a whole new look. So again, here's the beginning of the first, I mean the last uh, eye poke sound. So we went from that to this. That part that we just hit there I find is my favorite. Um, now that's the audio file that we're going to be using for our app. So let's get started with this. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Xcode. Now we're going to select create new project and make sure this is selected to the single view application. We're going to make sure storyboards is checked and also um, automatic reference counting or R, I mean ARC. We're going to name this background music. And don't forget to have your organization name and your company offender uh, according to your app. Select next. Save this to the desktop for easy access. Okay, now that we have the application um, up and loaded, we need to add some frameworks. If you don't know how to add frameworks, I actually have a tutorial on this 
uh, in the coming videos, but here I, you will see. What you can do is you can either just scroll down here and click Linked Frameworks and Libraries and select the plus button. Now, you can either add other that possibly you've downloaded for, say, the Facebook SDK, which is used in iPhone Pro, and Lite. So what we're going to look for is the uh, AV Foundation dot framework. So once you select this, select Add, and now it, adds, it is added to your uh, Xcode project. You're just going to want to drag this down into frameworks to keep it all organized. Now we can minimize that again. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a landscape uh, uh, tutorial here, sorry, app here, and to make sure this is landscape again, we're going to go into the main storyboard, select the view, go to the attributes, make sure it is highlighted in blue, go to simulated metrics, and then go to orientation and select landscape. Now you have a landscape app in the making. Let's just change the color here to this green. And we're going to want to keep the status bar. So now what we're going to want to do is add the code. Now the code is here. I've already loaded it up for you guys. And notice right here it says app delegate. The app delegate is basically where once your application launches, all the code that's in there should be being used and being watched first thing. And usually when you have a view controller, that loads when this view is loaded. And anything you put in here can be done in this view. Now when you have app delegate, you have the view on the outside and it watches the entire app. So what we're going to want to do is actually go into the app delegate.h and we're going to want to add uh, the framework. So go ahead and write hashtag import and then you want to make sure that these are the uh, greater and equal signs. And inside here we're going to type in AV and it should automatically come up for you and it's AV foundation slash AV foundation dot H. Select that and you're done. Now we're going to add the parentheses and in here we're going to go look at our code. So there's all of our code for anyone who doesn't uh, know actually how to do this at the moment. Pause the video now and you can just uh, look at the code. This project will also be on our website with all the code there if you don't feel like uh, watching. Sorry, not watching. A uh, Looking off the screen and you can have it actually as another window. So let's get started. In the parentheses we're going to go AV audio player and then the star and we're going to name this audio player one and don't forget the semicolon that is most important if you do then you will receive errors and it will not uh, build a right so make sure you have a semicolon after it now we're going to go to the dot m and under the bool application did finish launching with options anything like this is where you're going to look at so like application will res Resign active and this entered background. So this is where you're usually you do app background uh, work. This is where it came back on from the background. This um, it will enter foreground and became active again. And then this app is terminated. So under the did finish launching. So as it says right there, once it launches, this will happen. This is where we're going to put in our sound code. So let's go ahead and type in NS string. Make sure that's down there. Put that over here. Star music equals open up two brackets and then NS bundle main bundle close only one bracket then go path for resource right here and then you want to make sure it says path of resource ns string of type ns string in the first one we're going to enter the name of our uh, of our audio file now 
to add this to your file, you're going to go under Supporting Files and then go into Finder and actually find your uh, audio. So there's mine right there. We're going to click and drag it up to the top of the Supporting Files. Now, when this pops up, we're going to want to select uh, the destination and Add to Target. Then select Finish. Now we can close out Finder. Now that it's been added to our Xcode uh, project, we are going to copy and paste the title, or if you have your title set very small, you can just uh, write it in. And then of type, we're going to do again the at sign with two quotations, and we're going to write the ending thing. So for mine, it's an M4A file, so M4A, and that's it. No, you don't have to write a period before M4A, just M4A. And then after that, don't forget to uh, have your semicolon. For the next line, we're going to go audio player 1 equals, open up two brackets, and type in AV audio player, allo something, and then the close one bracket. In here, you're going to write in it with contents of URL and then open up one bracket and of course we want to close it and then inside the brackets we're going to write ns url file with url path and then we're going to type in music or whatever you named your um, ns string up here is going to go right here now in the error, we can just write null. Not nil, null. And of course, don't forget the uh, semicolon. Next, we're going to go to add it to itself. Not to itself, but we're going to set the delegate to itself. So go audio player one dot delegate equals self. Semicolon. And now, if you want your um, music to loop, say for a game, so you don't have to constantly replay it or only play it once, then you will have some difficulties. You're going to want to do audio player one dot number of loops equals negative one. Now negative one means that it will replay in like for infinity. You don't have to write zero 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 zero. That's pointless. And then, sorry, then, not zero, zero, zero. If you say some people, when they look at this, they're going to type in this because they want it to loop a lot. But if that app's running, the music will stop eventually. You just are going to need to write negative one and it loops forever. And then for the last line, we need to actually play the audio. So type in audio player one. Um, sorry, before audio player one, we want to add the bracket. Then type play, close that bracket, and the semicolon. Now you've been noticing here that there's a uh, exclamation mark and a triangle here. This is not an error, it just means that you need to set the delegate. And as you can see here, assigning to ID, and it's not. It's basically telling you that you did not put that in. So in the dot H, what you're going to do is in the uh, greater than and less signs, Write a comma next to UI application delegate. If you delete UI application delegate, it will uh, have errors. You will have difficulties with your app trying to fix it again. So make sure you keep that. Just write a comma and move on to the next one. And the next one is AV audio player delegate. Now, as you may have noticed, that there were some others, like audio recorder delegate and audio session delegate. The recorder is meant that you can record audio and play it back. Session means it, instead of, uh, not instead, but it's basically saying that it's a session where you can keep your music playing even though the app exits itself. That possibly may be a future tutorial once I figure out the code. Um, but this is depreciate, uh, depreciate, oh, I can't even speak today, depreciate it or something, to pescate, or whatever you want to call it, in iOS 6. So it's no longer being used. You want to use the uh, notification declared. So let's get rid of that. 
make sure you have the same thing as me. As you can see back in the amp delegate.m, the error removes, not the error, but the warning removes itself, and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and run the application in the simulator. And once this loads up, it'll automatically start playing the music. As you can see, it is also in landscape. So once the user clicks it, it'll load up the app, and the second it loads, the second it loads, you now have um, the music playing. And that is it for this tutorial. It is a very simple tutorial, and you can do quite a lot with this, especially in the game world where you usually would have a background music of some sort playing. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope this helped a lot. Don't forget to check out our um, iPoke 2.0, which will be right here. It has been completely <laughs> redesigned and completely... like it, just, it blows my mind. I can't even believe I did it. But I redesigned iPoke. It's a lot better. It's only $0.99 cents in the App Store. And don't worry, there will be a free version coming soon. iPoke Lite will actually be removed from the App Store for the weeks coming until I can get iPoke Lite 2.0 finished. But there will also be an update for iPoke 2, which is what it's going to be called now, until the Lite version is out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.